Marine at Modernus. What is the line between music and sound art? And I think I found one of several pieces that help to show this line and why it is drawn. And it's Robin Kahn's Jesus Christ Superstar. And as a kid, apparently, Robin was obsessed with the rock opera Tim Rice's Jesus Christ Superstar, or is it Andrew Lloyd Webber, or both. I have no idea. But she was obsessed with it and learned it by heart. And here what she's done is she is singing it its entirety, the entire play, opera, whatever. But the thing is, she can't sing. And I think the key here is the separation between the music. This work is not meant to be enjoyed for its perfection of presentation. Or even for the content of the lyrics. But for the fact that she is presenting it in a context that has removed it from its theater and placed it within the realm of art. In essence, she has dragged it kicking and screaming from the dramatics and brought it distinctly into the art world by stripping away all of the things that we associate with art within the field of musicals, of rock opera. All that's gone. All that's left is the lyric and her presentation of it. She has, in essence, stripped all the artistic elements from one field and recontextualized it by putting it into another field. And that is, to me, the definition of the separation of sound art and music. It is when you strip it down in the f music arts and reconceptualize it within the world of conceptual art. And this does that beautifully. <laughs> 